Right now, I want to take a minute and, and read something very interesting that uh, has come over the wire in the last few hours from Before It's News. Now, I get a lot of my uh, news tips from Before It's News and, and from a, a website called Godlike Productions. Now, like any other uh, website, you have to uh, be discerning because a lot of stuff that's posted on Before It's News and a lot of stuff that's posted on Godlike Productions is BS. There's just no other way to, uh, to say it. But this uh, post by Before It's News, it, it was posted by their management, which is unusual. Now it says, uh, we received this letter yesterday, I'm quoting now, from an anonymous source via U.S. mail. Before It's News is just a conduit for your news, and we thought this information might be of value to our readers. Here's the full text of this letter from people who claim to have worked on the design and construction of the new MetLife Stadium, the original or the upside down American flag on the stamp on the outside of an envelope is an interesting touch. Titled The Treason Bowl, February 2nd, 2014 at the Meadowlands Sports Complex. The letter begins, Hello. For reasons soon to be obvious to you, I will not introduce myself nor any of the others who have contributed to this notification. We have been involved with the construction and operation of the new MetLife Stadium at the Meadowlands Sports Complex. Some of our involvement precedes the groundbreaking and some of our involvement is current. From here on, I will refer to the upcoming Super Bowl as the Treason Bowl. From the start, from design stages, Plans have been made for the stadium and the American Dream Meadowlands Complex to host a well-planned false flag event, so grand that one would think it was planned in the offices of Joseph Goebbels himself. This has been in the works for at least six years. The highlight of this treason will be the worldwide live television coverage of this abomination of civilization. This promotion of fear and horror is hoped to inspire the masses of the world to willfully submit to the eradication of rights given to us by God. In the very design of the stadium, spots were planned for the placement of bombs, not to immediately kill the stadium guests, but to entrap them. The bomb placements are for the creation of choke points to control the movement of the guests. Remember, the highlight is the international live broadcast of desperate human suffering. It will first be answered by militarized police and thug-like New Jersey State Police, but only to be resolved by U.S. Army troops from Fort Dix. The fix is in, racketeering at its finest hour. You may notice that the New Jersey State Police Sport or New Jersey State Police Sports Complex has a you know, has a noticeably high percentage of troopers that are very big, look like thugs, and we assure you, act like thugs. Seven of us have witnessed experiences with them with varying degrees of rudeness, misery, and disgust. There are traitors within this local state police force who will be enabling the, for the apparent foreigners in the stadium and in the whole complex. It has been harder for us to be exact with numbers of U.S. federal agents in on this false flag fix, but we have confirmed that they are from the Department of Homeland Security, the National Security Agency, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, and Blackwater. For the Treason Bowl, there may be as many as 11 armed foreign terrorists in the stadium itself, being another eight of them in the rest of the complex, including Meadowland Station. A heavier-than-air poison gas will be brought in with CO2 canisters that are used by soft drink vendors. It will not be a quick killer as chlorine gas, but rather a gas that causes more physical contortions and suffering for high-impact live video. This heavier-than-air poison will first target the field level, most notably the athletes on the field. Specific placement of bombs will ensure that no one leaves the field level, uh, so that is why they have the closed choke, choke points. For those of you who haven't yet figured it out about the uh, extensively drawn-out Afghan occupation by a supposedly mighty military, against an outmanned and outgunned rebel alliance with a mysterious decade-plus bottomless supply of resources. It's all about the three pipelines, the now complete Caspian Sea oil and natural gas pipelines to China and points in between, and the heroin pipeline to 
that's been developed in countries in the West, especially our country. The continuing vagueness of the Afghan occupation should be as obvious as the nose on your face and should consume your curiosity. A lot of us here are amazed how this realization escapes the most of you. Of course, our, sentence, our senses are heightened on this matter, having learned for the past six years of impending evil and doom of the 2014 Super Bowl. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and, and skip down to the bottom of this letter because I'd like you to take a look at who it was sent to. It's uh, actually a very interesting list. This was sent to the Denver Broncos, the Chargers, the Colts, the 49ers, Panthers, Patriots, Saints, Seahawks, Village Voice, uh, New York Star Ledger, World Net Daily, Project Camelot, Truth Out, Rumor Mill News, Common Dreams, Blacklisted News, Before It's News, Quantum Future Group, Center for Research on Globalization, Cryptomy, Paul Craig Roberts, Laura Ingram, and Mr. Edwin Anelzoni. Now, those are some pretty interesting uh, places to send it. Uh, Laura Ingram, out of, out of all those, that, that just doesn't make any sense. Uh, but I, I'd like to point out a couple of things before we go to break here. Number one, all these uh, teams that were listed were still in the playoffs uh, a few weeks back. So we can surmise that this was sent out uh, at least two weeks ago. Uh, and something else that I noticed here that I wanted to uh, to point out and I will get oh yeah uh, we've confirmed that these uh, federal officers are from DHS NSA FBI and Blackwater well Blackwater no longer exists it is now and it has been for a couple of years called XE so you know that right there brings me uh, a bit of concern for the legitimacy of this letter but uh, you know this would be a terroristic threat at least it would be considered to be a terroristic threat here's the uh, outside of the envelope got the upside down American flag which signals distress of course so that would be a terroristic threat something that the FBI would want to look into and uh, if it's a joke it's not a very funny one because it uh, brings to mind a video that was released by my friend Dabu7 today uh, if you don't know who Dabu7 is you need to uh, learn to know who he is uh, you find him on find him on YouTube he's always got uh, the latest updates he does you know short shows as opposed to my hour-long free-for-alls but uh, you know he's always got great information and uh, he came across some very interesting information about the uh, Olympics in Sochi let's uh, take a look real quick here at this uh, uh, connection that he's made between the Olympics in Sochi and the combined disasters cards in the Illuminati card playing game. This is a heads up warning and alert for anyone going to Sochi for these Winter Olympics. Uh, for those of you familiar with the Illuminati playing cards, you've definitely seen the combined disaster card before. A lot of people were pitching it around during the London Olympics because they thought it looked a lot like the London clock tower. Now I'm going to go, go through some images here and I'm going to share with you what I think this might be after closely observing Sochi. Look what we have here. Yes, it's. Is that awesome or what? If you look at the clock towers between uh, Sochi and the uh, combined disasters card on the Illuminati, you'll see that they are nearly identical. And we'll talk about that more later. We'll be talking to a friend of mine, the admin at the Truth is Viral Facebook page. He's a veteran of the Battle of Fallujah. And uh, we've got, we're going to hear what he has to say now that Al-Qaeda has retaken that area of Al-Anbar province in Iraq. Stay tuned. The Truth is Viral will be right back. Thank you for watching The Truth is Viral with your host, Bobby Powell. Make sure to follow the apocalypse on Twitter at The Truth is Viral. Like The Truth is Viral on Facebook, and if you can, 
please remember to donate to the cause via PayPal at www.bobpowell.blogspot.com. Mac Runner, your game is.